welcome to episode 48 and the La Rapo. Today I'm going to deal with the issue of squatting and specifically squatting in the Turks and Caicos Islands. And yes, squatting is illegal in the Turks and Caicos Islands for squatting and crumland. It's a criminal offense that carries criminal sanction and squatted on private land is subject to civil remedies. I'll be back to discuss these matters subsequently. But before I do, my usual disclaimer, this is not legal advice, should not be construed as legal advice. For legal advice, please contact an attorney of your choice. Welcome back. A person squats on private property. If the owner of that private land sits back and does nothing and the squatting goes on for a long period of time, the squatter at common law can gain rights or an interest in that land. At common law, it is known as adverse possession, sometimes colloquially described as squatter's right. It is a legal principle at common law under which a person who does not have a legal title to a piece of property, usually land, may acquire legal ownership based on continuous possession or occupation of the property without permission or license of its legal owner. The possession by a person is not adverse if they are a tenant or a licensee of the legal owner. In general, a property owner has the right to recover possession of their property from the unauthorized possessor through legal action such as Ejectment. However, in the English common law tradition, courts have long ruled that when someone occupies a piece of property without permission and the property owner does not exercise their rights to recover their property for a significant period of time, not only is the original owner prevented from exercising their right to exclude the unauthorized occupier but an entirely new title to the property springs up in adverse possession in effect the adverse possessor becomes the property's new owner. Over time in various common law jurisdictions, the legislature has created statute of limitation that specify the length of time owners have to recover possession of their property from adverse possessors. Unfortunately, I find no such legislation in the Turks and Caicos Islands. If anyone knows any legislation to that effect, could they please leave a comment below. So what is the remedy to recover land owned by private persons that are occupied by squatters? Well, the remedy, one, upon discovering that there's a person squatting on their land is to call the police. The police could determine if the person is merely a trespasser and if he is just a she or she is just a trespasser, then they could be criminal sanctions for trespassing if they refuse to leave. 
But if the person is a squatter, they have erected a um, structure on your private land, then the remedy will be to get an eviction order or eviction notice from the court. The court will issue what is referred to as a writ of restitution. Unfortunately, this can be a very lengthy period, very costly to the property owner. And this is why as soon as a property owner discovers that someone is squatting on their land, they must take immediate action. If after securing a writ of restitution, the squatter fails to remove from private property after being served with eviction notice, the private land owner has the right to remove the squatter using reasonable force within the terms of the eviction order. Has the right to demolish the structure must ensure that it is done in a safe way, must ensure that it is unoccupied at the time so that there is no danger to anyone um, physically. However, when it comes to Crumland, the situation is different and I will be back to deal with that aspect in a moment. Welcome back. Squatting and Crumland is dealt with by the Crumland Ordinance. Section 18.1 of the Ordinance states that the Crumland unit must take action in accordance with this ordinance and any other relevant powers to a prevent squatting and Crumland or any authorized action that denudes or degrades Crumland and B, prevent harmful activity on or against crown land. And the enforcement against squatters and harmful activities on crown land is done through an informal settlement task force within the crown land unit. according to section 19 of the Crumland Ordinance. Crumland, the Crumland Ordinance, section 20, deals with enforcement against squatters and Crumland. Section 24, or section 20 subsection 4 states if persons have built rental units in Crumland without title or authority to do so and are collecting rents from tenants a prosecution under section 21 and we'll look at section 21 in a moment or common law for fraud must be initiated and an application made and conviction for fort forfeiture to the government of all rents collected by the offender. Subsection 5 goes on to say the cause of enforcement must be recovered from the person or persons against whom the action is taken wherever practicable. Subsection 6 says subsection 3 and 4 do not displace the functions of the Director of Public Prosecutions in respect of criminal prosecutions. So, Chosposin and Crumland is a criminal offense. Section 21 A person who, without 
lawful authority uses or occupy crown land, constructs any building or structure in crown land, clears any crown land and undertakes any other work on crown land, or leaves or abandon any vehicle, vessel or chattel on crown land, commits an offence and is liable and summary conviction to a fine of $10,000 or imprisonment for six months and then conviction and indictment to a fine of 50000 or imprisonment for five years abode. In addition to any penalty imposed under subsection 1, the court may order a person convicted of an offence under this section to restore the land at the person's expense to a condition as nearly as practicable to the same condition of the land before the offence was committed. Subsection 3. If the person does not comply with an order under sub subsection 2 within a time specifying the order, the director, this is the director of Crownlands, may cause the work to be done by a person and in a manner at a rising writing by the governor and may require the cost and expense of the work to be paid by the person. This is the convicted person. So, yes, squatting is illegal. Squatting and crumbling carries criminal sanctions. Squatting and private land is subject to civil remedies and for persons who have indicated that it appears that squatting is not illegal in the talks and keep silence and point out to a lot of shanty tongues and sharks and so on and crown land and private land i hope that this brings clarity to the situation here is where i will leave it for today thank you for watching if you have any questions leave it in the comment section below and I will answer those questions. I will see you in another episode.